Well, I guess you guessed it right. Today we're going to talk about microphones. Ciao belli, welcome to a new vlog. Today we talk about microphones. This is a question I've been asked so many times. What microphone do you use? Actually, I use different microphones for different purposes according to my video. So today I'm gonna share with you which one I use, why and when. And also I want to share with you a pro and a cons of each microphone I'm gonna show you. Bear in mind, all the products I'm gonna list are in the description tab down here. And first of all, I want to highlight the importance of audio in videos. That's sometimes underestimated by vloggers and video makers, but the audio is one of those aspects that will take your video production to the next level, so definitely worth investing some money into a good microphone. Said that, let's start with my microphones and I'm gonna start with the Ceramonic T3L. This is a professional directional microphone. Why and when do I use this microphone? This is my studio mic. I'm not using it today because I wanted to show it to you but uh, usually I put this next to the camera or just out of the frame, somewhere here, so the directional mic can pick up my voice and it's quite close to my mouth, so the audio will be nice and crystal clear. And you can check the full review of this microphone right here. I also use this microphone on professional shoots when I need to pick up some ambient noise. This is great because, as I mentioned, it's a directional mic and it picks up the noise from whatever direction I point it to. It has an XLR connector, more professional, more stable than a mini jack, and it delivers a better audio. So whenever I can, this is my to-go microphone. One of the things I like of the microphone is the built-in buttons and options. So with these buttons, you can boost your audio or decrease the audio or also cut out some frequencies just on the mic. So very handy if you can't do that on your recording device. A bad thing of this microphone, well, the size is huge, so it's not very portable. And then the cold shoe, it's not great. It kind of gets loose and it keeps spinning on your camera. It doesn't matter how strong you tighten it up. Next on the list is the Rode Video Mic Go. This is my vlogging microphone. Whenever I use cameras with mini jack, so mirrorless and the SLRs most of the times. I used it a lot on my Sony Alpha cameras. I also use it as a second microphone on professional shoots, so whenever I have a camera like the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with an XLR input but also a mini jack input, this is my second microphone right on top of the camera. For example, when I do interviews, that's just a safety net for the audio. One of the pros of this microphone is the plug and play option. So you just need a mini jack, you don't need extra batteries or anything, but also the windscreen. So it comes with a windscreen. One of the things I don't like about this microphone, some parts are made of plastic and with time it will break. Like the shot mount, it just broke because it's made of plastic, the connection is made of plastic and after a while it broke up. Now we're talking about the tiny version of the Video Mic Go. This is the Video Micro, always by Rode. So this is my vlogging microphone whenever I use a GoPro or even a smartphone with mini jack connection. It's great, it's tiny, you can fit into your pocket, so for traveling is great, travel vlogging, this is my to-go mic. What I like about it, once again, portability, as I mentioned, and the overall quality is great, so I don't see any difference between the two. It comes with a windscreen, and this is one of the cons of this tiny microphone, because the windscreen is actually bigger than the Video Mic Go windscreen. And whenever I use it on a GoPro, this will fit inside my frame, so I need to cut out in post-production all this, the windscreen coming into frame like that. Another of the cons of this microphone is the loose uh, cold shoe. So that doesn't stick on my camera any longer and it keeps coming off, so not very useful under that point of view. We're gonna talk about this microphone now, even smaller than the Video Micro. This is the Saramonic Smart Mic Mini. 
it's a vlogging microphone. You can use it also on laptop, that's how I use it sometimes when you've got conference calls on your laptop, but also I use it on smartphones. It comes in two versions, one with USB-C connection and one with the for the iPhone basically and once again review is up here. About pros and cons, well <laughs> this size that's even smaller than the video mic, definitely you can fit in any of your pockets so portability is one of the pros, it comes with a tiny foam screen as well and I couldn't really find any, any negatives about this microphone so far well, it's not as professional as the others, probably that's one of the cons. But for vlogging, I think it's great. And that's how I use it whenever I vlog on my phone. This is the microphone I'm using. We're now gonna move to a different type of microphone, the Lapel or Love microphones. So we've got some wired and wireless microphones and I'm starting with the Sennheiser. This is the EW100. This is a professional lapel mic. I use it in particular when I'm interviewing professionally some people, so for work this is a very reliable microphone and that's one of the pros of the mic. One of the downsides of this is the battery, so you need to carry with you usually a couple of pairs of batteries and that's gonna add weight to your bag and also you need to think about charging maybe the batteries or bring extra batteries in case these go down, but it's a great microphone, totally recommend it. If you have the budget, yes, for professional work, top. It comes with a receiver and a transmitter, so it's still portable, but if you're traveling for work, maybe there's another option, which I'm gonna show you right now. And we're gonna talk about the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B1. Once again, a lapel mic. This is great, I really love this microphone and I usually use it when I'm vlogging, whenever I would need to be away, far away from the camera. Instead of using the Sennheiser, if I travel, I bring with me the Blink 500 Pro. It's great, the quality of the audio is amazing, it sounds great, you probably wouldn't feel the difference between any of these mics actually. You can check the full review up here and I recommend you to go and check it out. There's so many pros about this mic, First of all, you don't need extra batteries, they have built-in batteries, you can charge the battery through their case, so whenever you lay the two devices into their case, the devices will start charging, so it's great for portability, the dimension of it is great. One of the downsides I found when I was testing the microphone was actually the interruption of the signal between the receiver and the transmitter, so it didn't reach the amount of distance that the company is telling you, but still, you know, you can, you can film at 20 meters away from your camera, so it's definitely enough for what I do. For traveling, travel vloggers, this is what you need. And either the Sennheiser and the Saramonic, the Blink 500, come with a mini jack. Now we're gonna still talk about lapel microphones, but now we're gonna talk about wired lapel microphones. So this is a long cabled microphone that goes directly into the camera. This is the Audio Technica ATR3350, link in the description tab. You have a cable that goes from 3 to 5 meters, you can choose different options of this microphone. And once again, it's great when I interview people on a DSLR or mirrorless with mini jack. So whenever I can, I actually use wired cables, it's just more stable for me in terms of connection and it assures me that whenever I go in my studio to check the audio, the audio will be there. With a wireless microphone, sometimes you go to the studio and you have no audio because the frequencies got cut out, so that's one of the tips and something you need to be aware of. And another tip, guys, is always to double check your audio, maybe live, so whenever you're talking, if you have some headphones or, or some audio feedback, always check the audio is there, or as soon as you finish recording your clip, go and check it out again, just to make sure you go home and you've got some sound coming out of your camera. Something good about the microphone, sound is good, the cable is quite long, so you can reach people, as I mentioned, five meters away from your camera. The downside, in general, of mini jack microphones is that the connection, especially around the mini jack itself, 
they break so easily. So this part of the microphone will break and the microphone will not work anymore unless you're able to fix it yourself. Otherwise, you just need to throw away the mic and it works with these tiny batteries. So you need to remember to bring some extra batteries with you. And I'm gonna cover my last microphone, which is the one I'm using right now for this vlog. This is the AKG C517. It's an XLR professional microphone. It's a lapel mic, but it's wired. So it goes directly into my Blackmagic pocket right here. I usually use it in studio for products reviews whenever I don't use the T3L, the big microphone. I prefer lapel mics because it's closer to my mouth so the sound is clearer and it just sounds better overall. One of the good things of the microphone is just how it sounds. It's so easy, you just plug it in and I think it's just the microphone I use the most whenever I can basically and I couldn't find any other negatives about it. I also use it for professional interviews whenever my subject is close to the recording device. And that's all about microphones today guys. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any question about audio, about what I use, camera gear, just drop a comment down here. I'd be happy to create a new video for you and reply to your questions. Also, don't forget to go and check my courses, my online courses about video making and video editing on my website. One of my courses is bestseller on Udemy, so definitely go and check it out. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless. Memories fall up the road